Hi. Hey. My name's Hora. I'm Shadi. And we're about to do some frequently asked questions um, about Shadi's music. Busting the myths on independent musicians. Yeah. So a lot of people have questions around what Shadi does, um, how she creates her music, why she has a Kickstarter account, how they can support her. And um, I thought I would ask Shadi those questions and she could answer them and share them with you all. So the first one and a very common question we have is, Shadi, I love your music. I listen to it all the time online, on YouTube, on Spotify, Apple Music, um, other streaming services. But how much do you actually make when people listen to your music online? It's a really good question. So it kind of boils down to per stream or per play, which on average is about 0.006 cents per play. So I, on average, will probably make between 25 to $30 a month from all the streaming platforms. And that's also including downloads. So when people download through these streaming services, uh, say they've purchased it through their phone on iTunes or Google Play, I make about 40% profit from those sales. What's the difference between downloading your music on iTunes or CD Baby or other platforms as opposed to your website? Yeah, so when people will download through all these other third-party streaming services, you know, 40 to 50% of, of what iTunes gets, they give to me. But when uh, people download directly from my website or they purchase the CD directly from me, I make 100% of those profits and royalties and they come to me and they support me in making this my livelihood and creating more uh, behind inspired music. Three years ago, we launched a Kickstarter campaign yeah. to raise funds and that was amazing. And you were able to produce an album, Daughters of the Kingdom. This year, we're running one to ra raise an, uh, money for uh, your first collaborative album with our mom. Um, but what about in between when you're not running a campaign? Mm. How can people support you? Yeah, I mean, I am available to travel. I, I get hired by communities all over the world to play my music and share, share the teachings of the Baha'i faith. I also offer workshops uh, to children, youth, and adults on how to empower their communities to create more music and understanding the station and the value that the Baha'i teachings places on the arts. And so the best way to do it is to hire me and I will come and play for you and offer these workshops. And the other way is just to purchase my music directly from me, whether it's through downloads or download cards or CDs. What does it mean to pre-order your album on Kickstarter in this case, as opposed to just waiting till it's released? Like, what is the significance of that? Right now, we're, we have this Kickstarter and that money that will be made will go directly into paying off all the musicians, all the engineers, all the designers, um, everyone that's been hired to uh, play on this album. You can wait until uh, the album is released, but uh, that won't go directly to supporting the project. So really the best way to support us is right now, is like before the end date of the Kickstarter campaign, which is April 28th. That money that people pledge goes directly back in to supporting the work of the artists and everyone that's played a part in making this album happen. Um, and that guarantees that you'll get the album when it's ready and it also guarantees that we'll have an album when we reach our goal. Um, what if I don't have any money? Like, I, I love your music, I want to support you, but I don't have any means to support you right now. Yeah, I mean, and that's totally fine too. I'm in that position a lot in my life. And the best way to really support me is to ask your family and friends if they've seen the Kickstarter or heard of my music and to share it with them and encourage them to support me in any way that they can. And yeah, even if you don't, if you don't have the means, um, you might know people who do or, or even just, just spreading the music and the links is, is very helpful. Cool. So that was most of the questions we had. We hope they answer some of yours. If you have any questions for Shadi, reach out, write her message, Facebook, 
in her Instagram, email, Instagram, anything. Or um, even in the comment section. Yeah, comment section. section. Um, yeah, feel free to reach out and we're really excited for what's to come and we thank all of you for your support. Honestly, like we wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for all of those people who have supported Shadi in the past. Yeah, yeah thank you. All right, guys. Thanks so much. See you later. Bye.